Hello beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I'd like to talk to you a bit about how to sing with a cold. There are many times when singers get colds and yet they still have to perform. It would be a really nice world if we could get out of our gigs every time we have a cold but to be honest that is really not a very practical solution for most of us. If you have a paid gig and you have a cold and you get out of it, guess what? Someone else gets paid and you don't. Or if you have a band and you have a headlining concert that you've set up months in advance, you've sold pre-sale tickets, and now you have a cold, you're going to go on anyway. So most pro singers have learned how to sing with a cold. Now, it's not something everybody likes to do, but it's a really important skill that you learn. Now, before I talk about singing with a cold, let me tell you what you really shouldn't sing with. If you have a fever or if you're throwing up, you shouldn't be in public, you should be in bed recovering. Um, another thing that you should be watch out for singing is strep throat with really the kind of sore throat where you can't swallow even your own saliva. If your throat is that inflamed, it's best to not really try and push it by trying to sing. Um, likewise, laryngitis, if you have actually gotten your cord so swollen that you can't even make a sound, at that point, what's best for you is vocal rest. And if you continue to try and sing with that sort of inflammation and swelling in your cords, you could be at risk for vocal damage or hemorrhage, which is something we really don't want to happen. So um, with that in mind, a mild head cold or um, perhaps allergies is something that is annoying, but it's important to learn how to sing. So if you have a head cold, a little drippy head, a little congestion in your nose, how do you do, how do you go forward and make a best of your performance? First off, let me go ahead and say, um, the main thing is the more training you have, the easier this is to do. And so if you have a head cold, usually what happens is people feel really clogged and they can't hear. And that's a real tough thing to do. So the more you have a sense of the voice with that internal sense of, of humming, like I, we talked to about on the resonance video, you have that sense of head resonance, which will help you resonate and feel the voice of where it should be. The other thing that will really help you sing with the cold is the breathing. The more you understand the power of the breath and how to use the breath, the more you can trust that to sing with you. I've had many students come in sick, feeling like they sounded horrible, but when they started singing, they actually sounded not that bad. Um, a lot of times singing with a cold is like singing with a, your head in a big pillow or in a big foghorn. You feel all congested and everything feels really gross, but the more you go on and sing, and if you have a good technique, you can sing right through that cold. And that's what they call singing through a cold, is just trusting your technique that you've hopefully already built at this point and allowing your technique to get through the singing. Now a couple of things to keep in mind if you've been doing a lot of coughing oftentimes the coughing causes the vocal cords to slam together and that can create some swelling or irritation in the cords. So if I have found myself that it's usually the high notes that I find the most problematic because the cords are stretched so thin. And if your cords are already irritated or swollen, high notes might be a little bit difficult. So if you have the option to change your set list or maybe not go for a high note, then go ahead and take it. Um, there's no shame in not going for a high note if you don't think you have it that day. And it might be more embarrassing if it's not quite there. Um, some singers actually have the luxury of changing keys. And sometimes the when you have a cold, your voice just wants to sit in a lower place. In fact, many times people have amazing low notes, so why not go for it? If you can move a key down a step or two, it might make the song a lot easier for you to sing, and there's no shame in that. Um, again, um, in conclusion, you can learn to sing with a cold. The more training you have, the more you have a sense of your technique, you can allow your technique to sail through the day. I have seen many singers who had horrible colds do wonderful performances, and I've had to do it myself. And it's a, something important to do. So don't let a cold keep you from singing. Just use some common sense, sing gently, sing with good technique, and go on with your gig. All right, take care, and I will see you next time.